All right, I think that will work. Hi, I'm Tyler and uh, welcome to Tyler Tech. So first I wanted to uh, say I'm back, hopefully. This is the first video that will be uploaded in quite a while after I said that I wanted to be back. But uh, now it's halfway through summer and I think I got into a schedule that allows me to keep making videos. But I wanted to take the opportunity today to talk about the new Raspberry Pi uh, 4. It came out today. Uh, as long as I get this video edited the same day, it came out today. I think it's going to be a great thing for computing because over the past few months I've started using Raspberry Pis more and more at school. Uh, and I used it to like, used Octoprint to make our 3D printer wireless. I even got Windows 10 to run on a Raspberry Pi. It was really slow, but that's one of the things I wanted to talk about. I think this Raspberry Pi 4 might be able to handle Windows 10. You can get up to four gigabytes of RAM and it has dual monitor support through the uh, mini HDMI. So $35 is still the starting price of the one gigabyte of RAM, but in my opinion, if I'm buying this for myself, I would go with the 55 gigabytes of RAM, which is what I think I'm gonna do. I plan on purchasing one of these for myself, and I wanna try installing Windows 10 on that one to see if it does better than the 3B Plus, I think it was that I installed it on a few months ago. Another thing that I noticed on the web page is that there's more power because it's USB Type-C, and that's gonna be a good thing because whenever I was running Windows 10 and some of these more, like the security camera software I put on, I noticed that I kept getting that little lightning bolt in the top uh, right corner. It's meant that I was using too much power. And for micro USB, that probably was too much power, especially with how thin those cords that come with the Raspberry Pis are. But now moving on to USB Type-C, I think this might actually be something that's like doable running Windows 10 on one of these. So that's something I plan on doing soon, hopefully, and putting it in a future video. Uh, but yeah, this, you, I'll leave a link down in the description to the Raspberry Pi announcement page where they uh, actually talk about this and where you can purchase one if you want. Uh, I'm planning on purchasing one soon and trying to get it all hooked up. Uh, but yeah, I also wanted to use this as the opportunity to uh, say thank you for watching and I will hopefully be back soon more regularly. So go ahead and share these videos. Uh, Subscribe if you aren't already, and if you want to support Tyler Tech, you can actually buy some Tyler Tech merch. Uh, you can just go to tylertech.tk slash shop. Uh, there's shirts, hoodies, and more. I'll leave a link to that down in the description as well. Uh, and thank you for watching, and next week, next Wednesday, there should be a video released too. I'm gonna try Wednesday as my day to release videos and see how that works. I just finished filming this one, so I know it'll be done for next Wednesday. Uh, I kind of talk you through different live streaming equipment and what I use for live streaming on Greensburg Sports Network, GSHS TV3, and right here on Tyler Tech. So stay tuned for that. That'll be here next Wednesday. And if you want to be notified as soon as it comes out, uh, just go ahead, click that subscribe button right below the video, and hit that like button so you get a little notification whenever it's uploaded. So thank you for watching again. Have a good day.